Several times in that budget. As the MP, I would be looking at it. So I'm I was glad to be able to come today because I think it's important as the being the MP to come and see what the council are doing for local residents and whilst I agree with some of the things I thought that the, the Labour councillor has talked very sensibly about housing and there was some important stuff on regeneration I'm really upset that Labour council are going to increase council tax for residents it's going to hit residents hard with the cost of living um, I'm also upset that they rejected the Conservative proposals for increased action and resources to deal with the illegal encampments. The illegal encampments are the number one issue in our town. Residents have been facing misery after misery about it. As you know, I go on about it all the time in Parliament and in Harlow. We had a chance tonight to vote for, for increased resources and instead Labour decided no and yet put up the council tax uh, yet again. It's, it's, uh, I can't understand it. Street lights, as you said. I welcome the street lights. I've supported street lights. I've done a Commons motion in Parliament. I've raised it with ministers. I had a meeting with Essex Council a couple of weeks ago, um, as your Harlow reported, because the uh, councillor in charge in Essex Council said that he would allow Harlow Council to put on the light. So I welcome that. Um, but um, I really, really worried about the increase in council tax for residents and the fact that they won't take further action to deal with illegal encampments. And residents have paid, we heard tonight, over £70,000 out of their own money uh, uh, to deal with illegal encampments, and yet Labour won't put any resources in to deal with them. They are soft on illegal encampments. Uh, some Labour councillors have been to welcome the, the uh, travellers at the old Passmore site, saying, uh, putting up a sign saying travellers welcome here. I think that's unacceptable. We should always oppose those people who break the law. Susie, are you happy with what um, has been passed tonight? I'm just really proud actually of Harlow Labour Council who have tonight um, uh, agreed and announced that they are going to be seeing um, Harlow uh, street lights turn back on. I mean obviously we've got to wait on Essex that they're going to agree that too. Um, it's very, very sad and shocking to see the, uh, the Tories in Harlow have voted against turning the street lights back on. Um, you know, that is just the Tories, as far as we, you know, can see acting against Harlow residents who have universally said they want their street lights turned back on and then you've got UKIP who kind of were confused about what they're doing, some abstained and some voted against. So essentially you've got the Tories and UKIP voting against Harlow residents, voting against turning the street lights back on and you've got Harlow Labour Council moving Harlow forward, not just voting for the street lights to be turned on but voting for £1 million regeneration fund for the town centre and a whole lot of other things to actually invest in Harlow and see Harlow have a better future. So yeah, I'm very proud of that. Yeah, just uh, did you take on board when they were saying about the lack of people in a consultation mentioned street lights? You, you would say it was the petitions that proved what Harlow people felt? I mean, look, 2,000 people signing a, a, a petition, um, every door we knocked on, people saying street lights, forgetting their political background, the street lights, want our street lights turned back on. People coming out and marching, people turning, you know, wrapping yellow ribbons around lampposts saying that people have asked the Tories continually to turn their street lights back on and the Tories at Essex County Council have ignored the calls of Harlow residents. Their Tory MP has done nothing about it. He didn't sign the petition, he didn't come on the march, he didn't do anything to stand up for, for Harlow residents on the street lights and it has taken Harlow Labour Council to do the right thing and see those lights turned back on. As I say, I'm very proud of them tonight.